What's up, YouTube? We got a very special and very different kind of unboxing today. So let's check it out, right? So, this, this is pretty neat. Like, it's pretty interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what this turns out to be. Um, so this package is from a company that's kind of a startup. They're just starting to get around, they're just starting to make shoes and stuff. And from what I understand, they're more of like a, a, a balling shoe. Um, I don't really ball much, but you know, I think they actually do a pretty good job from the, from the pictures that I've seen. They do a pretty good job at blending, um, you, you know, utility and, um, you know, fashion. So, you know, I'm kind of interested to see how they, you know, see what they got going on over here. All right. So, uh, huh. yeah. So, um, this is a Q. Four. All right, let me see this for a little bit. This is a Q4, which is kind of cool. I'll put all their links and, and whatnot in the description down below. Uh, so this is Racing Red, um, and the colorway is Racing Red, Racing Red, Racing Red. All red, uh, made in China. And I believe it's, I might have to look up the name of the actual shoe. Uh, but. Okay. Hello. Oh, whoa. It's me. Man. So, first impression is it feels really light. So, this is. I need to figure out what it is. Alright. So, this is the Red Millennium. And uh, we're gonna get some more up close up um, when I get to the uh, when I get Susan out. Um, and so it's got a, it's mainly got an upper mesh. Um, it's a, a mesh upper, which feels really breathable. It's got like a foam. I like. I'm not even sure what this is, but it's really cool um, looking. Um, the midsole is kind of squishy and shiny. There's a fingerprint on the back. I wonder whose fingerprint that is. Um, it's an all red shoe. Um, I, I want to test it out and try it out, see what it looks like, see what it feels like on foot. Um, but, but I think it's kind of neat to actually be a part of something new. Um, these aren't available in stores, so that's kind of cool, you know. But just to, like, it's somebody trying to do um, something different. Um, and again, I'll put their link and all that stuff in the description down below. Uh, but this is the Q4 Racing Red Millennium. Kind of cool. Alright, so this is the Red Racing Q4 Millennium. And it kind of has a LeBron feel to it. With the patches right here. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of the branding right there, um, which appears to be kind of 3M-ish. I do like this little guy, I think that looks cool. I do like the thumbprints right there, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, they both have a thumbprint or a fingerprint on the back there, I think that's pretty neat. And that's a pretty good looking shoe. I mean, for the first time, first time out, you know, I think these guys are doing something different. Um, they're kind of fighting the grain, doing making their own shoe. And I thought that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. What do you think about that shoe, bud? I like it. I like 
Why? Because there are many, because they're like red. And also I like how there's, um, like on the inside it has a little Q4, right by the sizes. Sure. Try again. Okay, let's try. You got the one on the inside and also right here you got on the sizes area you got a Q. And also there's a black Q on the sides. The inner, on the inward sides that I like. And you got, there's just a bunch of cues in really good spots. You got one right here. And I also like this as well. I don't, it's kind of cool I think. And I like this as well. So, final thoughts? Yep. I like this shoe a lot. Alright. So the Millennium gets a pass from you? Yeah, and it's another reason is because I, red and black, red, black, and white are, is my favorite color scheme of shoes. Because I like those colors. And also this little thing, this is like a fingerprint. Yeah, it's I like neat. that part too. Again, this is the Q4 Millennium Red Racing. Alright, so I really do like the midsole. The speckled midsole. You get a close look there, fingerprints. My son really liked the Q4 there. Um, it's got a non marking sole. So it says right there. Uh, so this is what the sole looks like. I think that's pretty neat. Um, you know, all in all, it's a pretty cool shoe. Alright, so not everything has to be hype. Not everything got to be like, you know, Nike, Adidas, or whatever. I think this is really cool. I think it's really cool when um, somebody just strikes out on their own and does something that stands up. I mean, like, in, the, in this particular market, you know, it's super difficult. Um, you know, but, so on foot, they're really comfortable. Um, you know, I'd love to see what they could do, you know, my, so, the, um, so what I would like to see, I would like to see some leather, you know, like, because these are all man-made materials, um, you know, I'd like to see some leather, uh, see what it would look like with, you know, an actual nice leather across it, you know, on these parts, uh, but it's a good, it's a great beginning, like, it, it's, I, I'm not a big fan of it, my son really liked the big Q4 there, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I do like that one. I think that's kind of, you know, easy enough, but this one is a bit uh, big for me. But I do, you know, it's got a carbon fiber slat in the middle here also. Um, so there's some actual, like, solid technology with the shoe. Um, you know, I'd like to see, you know, I, I want to see what they do with this, with this particular model. Like, I particularly, I like this cut. You know, like I said, it reminds me of a LeBron 9. Like, it really does. And, like, I don't know if it's just this part or if it's this high portion here. Like, if, like, a LeBron 9 and an AI had a baby, I think this is what it would, um, would create. Uh, but it's neat. It's a good concept. I like what they've got going on. Um, you know, go check them out. This is the Q4 Millennium. Go check them out. Links, as always, in the description down below. I hope you're having an amazing day. Sorry for the quick video today. I just had to get something up. Um, and I'll be back again tomorrow with something different. I will talk to y'all then. Bye.